The top 10 places to visit in Italy. This boot-shaped country in southern Europe is one of the world's most popular travel destinations for a variety of reasons, including art treasures, lovely villages, passionate people, and world-class cuisine. It is a destination where you can visit some of the world's most famous landmarks, including the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Colosseum, and the Trevi Fountain. There is also the opportunity to view renowned Renaissance paintings and shop for high-end apparel. Italy has a fantastically rich assortment of exquisite natural beauty to offer, as well as numerous options to get out into nature. Cinque Terre, Sardinia, and the Dolomites all have spectacular landscapes and hiking trails. You may spend your time in this culturally rich country studying about the life of the Romans, experiencing the devastation wreaked by Mount Vesuvius at Pompeii, or simply relaxing by one of Italy's numerous lakes and basking in the opulence of the Amalfi Cosaint. Italy has so much to see and do, explore. With our list of the best locations to visit in Italy, you can plan your vacation to this lovely Mediterranean holiday destination. Here's a look at the best 10 places to visit in Italy. Florence. Florence is, without a doubt, one of the best places to visit in Italy if you want to learn about the country's art history. In the place where the Renaissance began, you can see the Duomo, with its amazing dome roof, and look at some amazing art. The Uffizi Gallery has some of the best works of art in the world, and no trip to Florence is complete without a trip to this gallery. In Florence, you can walk across the Ponte Vecchio, which is one of the most well-known bridges in the world, and look into the shops along the way. And if you like meat, you must try the Bistecca Fiorentina before you leave Florence. The Florentine steak is the city's signature dish, and it is so delicious that your mouth will water. Venice Venice is famed for its gorgeous canals, which are lined with lovely gondolas that can transport you throughout the city. It's also small enough to explore on foot in a few hours, taking you through the city's picturesque streets and providing some magnificent vistas of elegant marble buildings with gleaming ponds. Visit the Palazzo Ducale, or Doge's Palace, in Venice and see one of the city's most famous and sumptuous attractions. Snack on gelato from a local cafe while admiring the vistas of the Grand Canal before boarding a gondola and exploring Venice's twisting canals. In February, three million people dress up in masquerade costumes and dance all night for the Carnival di Venezia for the Carnival of Venice. You can also join that celebrations. Rome Rome is a fantastic city to see, from the Colosseum to St. Peter's Basilica. It's a thriving cultural center where there's something new to discover around every corner. It was known as the Eternal City by the ancient Romans because they believed it would always stand, and it has. Visit the Vatican to view some of Rome's most famous landmarks, such as the Sistine Chapel and St. Peter's Basilica. Walking through history on a Colosseum tour is another unique experience in Rome. Before dropping a cent into the Trevi Fountain, take worthy images. The Trevi Fountain is easily the most stunning of Rome's roughly 1,300 fountains. Tuscany. Tuscany is the center of Italy, where wine, Renaissance art, and magnificent natural panoramas coxa saint. It's one of the best places in Italy to experience authentic Italian culture and, of course, food. It is also the birthplace of several notable personalities, including Michelangelo, Dante Alighieri, and Leonardo da Vinci. There are aesthetic and architectural marvels everywhere you look. Here you can taste wine in some of Tuscany's most famous wineries, including Chianti, Boldieri, and Montalcino, and eat some classic Italian comfort food that won't cost you much. Ribolita is a village-style stew that epitomizes this region. You may take a picture while holding up the Leaning Tower of Pisa, then go inside and ascend to the top for some breathtaking views. Milan If you're searching for something a little more cosmopolitan, Visit this lively city, which is home to the world's eighth-largest cathedral and one of the world's top fashion capitals. Unlike in many other Italian cities, life here moves quickly. Spend the day shopping, going to the opera, and then visiting the town for some of Italy's best cocktails. Even if you're not a big shopper, take a stroll through Italy's oldest shopping mall, Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II. If you enjoy shopping, you have arrived in Heave. You can't finish Milan Tour Milan without visiting the Milan Cathedral. Spend an evening at the opera at one of the world's most prestigious opera houses, Teatro alla Scala. The Last Supper, Leonardo da Vinci's renowned masterwork, is a must-see. Although a visit will take less than an hour of your time, 
Tickets might sell out once in advance, so reserve your tickets early. Amalfi Coast. When it comes to Italy vacations, you can't get out of the way with a trip to the stunning Amalfi Coast Saint. If you're tired of Tuscany's undulating hills, the Amalfi Coast is just what you need. The entire coast is lined with colorful Asian villages, snuggled into the cliffs, and set against the Tyrrhenian Sea's stunning blue waves. It's the ideal spot to unwind in an environment that never ceases to excite and surprise you. Make a point of visiting the town of Amalfi itself. It's one of the largest seaside towns and has a beautiful cathedral and the town's attractive pastel houses. The greatest sunsets on the Amalfi Coast may be found in Ravello. Villa Rufolo is the ideal spot to unwind and take in the sunset views. In Sorrento, Sip Limoncello is the delectable citrus liqueur is the ideal aperitif, and you won't find a more delicious version anywhere else. You can visit the stunning blue grotto on the island of Capri and the water inside the cave glows a vivid blue that will surprise you and makes for a terrific photo opportunity. Naples. There is something for everyone in Naples, whether you are a foodie or an archaeological aficionado. This huge metropolis is located on the Tyrrhenian Sea coast in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius. You'll never be far from a pizza shop that will transform your life because it's the origin of pizza. It's also an excellent starting point for touring the archaeological ruins of Pompeii and Herculaneum, which were destroyed by a volcanic explosion in 79 AD. Climb Mount Vesuvius for breathtaking views of Naples and the surrounding area. Consume a lot of pizza. In Naples, there are hundreds of pizzerias serving some of the greatest pizza you've ever had. For the greatest pizza in town, visit restaurants accredited by the Associazione de Pizza Napolitana. Tour the San Gennaro Catacombs to learn about Naples' underground history. Italian Lake District The Lake District of Italy mixes mountain views and crystalline lakes with historic strongholds and picturesque lakeside towns. Among the most magnificent lakes in this region are five major lakes, each with its unique flair and character to its accompanying communities. This place is popular all year since you may go to the beach on a beautiful day, participate in thrilling adventure sports, or come in the winter for a ski holiday in the Italian Alps. The Bellagio Mistral, a Michelin-starred restaurant on the banks of Lake Como, serves the latest in haute cuisine. Visit the Isola Bella Islands, take a stroll around the beautiful cultivated grounds, and visit the massive Baroque Palace. Spend an afternoon lounging in the shadow of the mountains and swimming in Lake Garda's beautiful waters, and also spend the afternoon at Lake Ledro. The remains of a Bronze-era hamlet were revealed from the receding water following the construction of the Riva del Garda Dam. In addition, there are some fantastic art installations in the forests surrounding the lake. Cinque Terre Cinque Terre is a collection of five beachfront communities that are all UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Rio Maggiore, with its vividly colored cottages packed together on the slope, is the most scenic and offers excellent views of the sea. A staircase above the harbor will take you to some breathtaking sunset views. While each hamlet offers something unique, you can't get out of the way of them. Relax on the only sandy beach in Cinque Terre, Monterosso al Mur, and sip some Shakshetra, the region's exceptionally sharp Ligurian white wine. Try some of the famed pesto from Cinque Terre. You can't leave without trying one of the several pesto meals on the menu. The Via dell'Amore, or Path of Love, connects Rio Maggiore and Manarola and runs along the shore. If you're feeling adventurous, you may walk the entire 12-kilometer trail from Monterosso to Rio Maggiore. Try some of the Cinque Terre's unique street bread, Farinata. It's made from chickpea flour and has the remarkable effect of helping you stay hydrated on sizzling summer days. Sicily. Sicily is one of the most culturally diverse regions in Italy. Having been influenced by the numerous different civilizations that have settled on the island over the course of its long history, Sicily is the largest island in the Mediterranean. Before heading to the coast, where you can find archaeological sites, fishing villages, and volcanoes, you should spend a few days in Palermo, the capital city of Sicily, where you can explore the city's famous marketplaces or the fascinatingly diverse architecture. Spending some time in Palermo is required for any vacation to Sicily. Your breath will be taken away by the golden mosaics of Monreal Cathedral, which is located just outside of Palermo. It would have required roughly 2,100 gig of pure gold to manufacture. If you want to see the island in all its splendor, climb to the top of Etna Volcano's crater. Hike to the Valley of the Temples in Agrigento, 
which is the most well-known archaeological site on the island of Sicily and features eight different temples. The Temple of Hera and the Temple of Concord are the ones that have survived with the least amount of damage and are the most picturesque. If this video is helpful and enjoyable to you, don't forget to subscribe to us and comment below. Have a nice day.